Piaggio Vespa PX125 Best Motorcycle Review, 2-Stroke Single Cylinder, 4 Gears The Vespa PX125 design has remained largely unchanged since it first appeared in 1977. If handling and performance are high up on your list, the Vespa isn't for you. But if you want to look cool as you cruise around at town speeds, look no further. The word Vespa has almost become synonymous with scooters in the same way that Hoover is with vacuum cleaners or Jacuzzi with hot tubs. The classic Vespa design is so iconic that owners Piaggio have kept as much of it as possible for their entirely modern incoming Vespa Electrica model. Vespa owners are a passionate bunch and there's no shortage of clubs and rideouts to get involved with, too such as the Vespa.org.uk forum. Subtle changes to keep the Vespa up to date and to get it through Euro 3 emissions regulations mean it feels similar to a modern scooter, only with a two-stroke engine and manual transmission. It doesn't handle like a sports bike, but a Vespa is all about looking cool, not going fast. Remember that and it can be great fun. Ride quality and brakes. Weighing in at a feather like 95 kilograms, bumps upset the little Vespa, especially mid-corner, it feels less like a motorcycle and more akin to a hardtail bicycle at times. But you've got to remember the Vespa isn't designed to be a sweet handling sports bike. Settle in to a more relaxed pace and it makes sense. Low speed handling is a doddle due to the weight and size. Engine a kickstart two-stroke engine is a rare thing for any bike or scooter over 50 cubic centimeters today, so the 123 cubic centimeters two-stroke powering the PX125 is a welcome change of pace. It needs to be revved to get the best from it, trying to accelerate in too high a gear results in the motor bogging down. But keep the motor spinning and the PX will whisk happily along on a cloud of blue smoke. Reliability and build quality. It feels a little flimsy, due in part to its lightweight, but everything fits together well and looks to have a good finish. Only time would tell how it stands up to everyday abuse during a British winter. We've got 5 Vespa PX125 owners reviews on the MC Insight, with an overall score of 3.2 stars out of 5. The negative comments concern performance and reliability, but you do need to keep in mind that this is a classic bike and one with massive appeal to a lot of people. Vespa PX125 Buying Guide, What to Look For Body, take a good look around the bodywork of the bike and check for any accident damage. The panels should all line up well and there shouldn't be any scrapes or blemishes. Wheels, damaged wheels can be a sign of a hard life. If the wheels have taken a battering, how has the suspension fared? Engine, make sure you start the engine from cold and that it makes no concerning noises such as knocking. It should run up to speed smoothly and come back down to idle easily. Gearbox, make sure changes are solid. Some Vespas are known for jumping out of gears, so ensure you use them all on your test ride. Value versus Rivals If you can find a proper old Vespa that works as well as the PX125 i.e. isn't knackered and in need of some attention for £2,899 then you're laughing. It may not have quite the same appeal as an old Vespa, but it's still incredibly cool, and the price is competitive with other 125 cubic centimeter scooters. Equipment Equipment-wise, the PX is basic. A speedo and fuel gauge are all you get at the front, along with old-styled switchgear which feels clunky to operate. There's no underseat storage as you'd expect, instead there is a storage compartment in the leg shield under the dash enough for a smallish rucksack. There's also a bag hook in the footwell. The twist shift for the four gears takes a little getting used, but a few minutes of riding soon sees you shifting easily. Because of the twist shift on the left handlebar, the rear brake is in the right-hand footwell which is extremely awkward. 